This is the SAK60. I've got it sitting on my desk and wired up to a 110 cord and now I'm going to plug it in the wall. The SAK60 always opens upon power loss, so it will be open when the power is first turned on. The gen utility light and the load light will remain off while the SAK analyzes the AC waveform. In a minute or so, the SAK will recognize the AC waveform as utility, the gen utility light will turn green, the relay will close, and the load light will turn on. That whole process takes a minute or so. When setting up the SAK60, first determine the application and then find the corresponding sections in the instructions. When scrolling through the menus on the SAC60, only scroll to and adjust those menus that are shown in that particular section of the instructions. You may scroll past and ignore all menus not shown in that section as they're not relevant to the specific application you've chosen. Menus are indicated by letter. Most are uppercase, but some are lowercase, and it is important to distinguish between the two. You press the mode button to advance through the menus and the up and down buttons to adjust the values. Once you've started to program it, if you press no buttons for five seconds, it will save the changes you've made and reload the program with the new values. That whole process of changing, of saving and reloading takes about 30 seconds and the SAK will accept no inputs during that time. There's no point in mashing the mode button. It's just gonna mess you up. Uh, just settle down and be patient. Do not worry if you've accidentally changed a value and it saves, you can always go back and correct it. The first application that we're going to consider is generator lockout. It's not uncommon to have a large load like a hot tub or double oven that the customer is okay with just locking out anytime they're on generator power. This is probably the easiest way to use the SAK and it doesn't require any connection back to the ATS. Turn to load lockout on generator settings, quick start chart in your instructions. And in this section, we see that we only need to be concerned with menus uppercase A, lowercase B, and lowercase D. Menu A should be set to zero to disable dry contact control of the relay because we're not using dry contacts to control this relay. Menu B should be set to zero to enable load lockout on generator. Menu D should be set to 0.2, two tenths of a second to provide a 12 second delay after power up before the SAC does anything. As it happens, the SAK is set by default for under frequency load management, so we will have to change menu B from one to zero. We'll press the mode button to advance. A is zero, B is one, we'll go down to zero. C is irrelevant to us, D is set to point two, and that's it. The rest of the menus we don't care about. We're gonna allow those changes to save and the program to reload. Now, when the power goes out, the generator starts and transfers. When generator power hits the line side of the SAK60, it will analyze the AC waveform. When it recognizes a generator waveform, the gen utility light will turn red, the load light will remain off because the relay will remain open. When utility returns, there'll be no loss of power, but after one to three minutes, the SAK will realize it is seeing a utility sine wave. There'll be a short countdown timer. The relay will close and the SAK will go back to sleep until the next power outage. It's as simple as that. You're done. You've set it up for lockout. You can go home now.